Hi, my name is Sloane Schaumberger and I'm the Garrison Brothers brand evangelist here in Dallas. I'm sitting here with David Shaw of Shaw Diamonds and Design, Dallas's modern man. So David, how long have you lived in Dallas and what do you love most about the city? Ooh, well, I've had, I would, been here since 1979, so quite a long time. Although I did have a break after college, I moved to Atlanta and Boston and Chicago for a little bit of a break, but came back like in about 2003. So I've been here for a while. Most 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 of my time has been here in Dallas. Same. What what do you love oh, most? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just love the accessibility of the city, and I mean, given that I've lived other places in the United States, which I loved all those locations, but Dallas was just great because. It's an easy place to get around. People are friendly. You know, every time you come back to Texas, you kind of hear that. And um, and it's true. And on top of that, the Tex-Mex is the best here, too. So <laughs> I didn't get that at all in, in Atlanta. You know, sorry, Atlanta, I love you. <laughs> you know, but anyway, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's missed. When you, when you live away, you miss basically like Texas music and, and Tex-Mex food. So it was very fresh, refreshing to get back for that. I hear you. Yeah. So what does it take to be a modern man? Oh boy. Well, I, I think it's just having an appreciation for a lot of different things, but really even in this year and in, in 2020 with, you know, the difficulties of this year, I think service is a big part of, of, you know, front of mind for everybody and, and trying to serve in whatever way you can to your community. Um, I mean, not only to your, you know, your family, I, I feel like I want to serve my family first, you know, my business second, but my community also right there. So I think being able to, be aware of, you know, what's going on today and um, and being respectful for so many people's, you know, needs is, is tremendous and, and try to serve that best you can. So here we're enjoying a glass of our Garrison Brothers small batch bourbon. So right mm -hmm. here on the left. Okay. So this is going to be our flagship bourbon, really the bread and butter of our portfolio. And we have amazing expressions like our single barrel right here. This mm -hmm. is always tried and true, very consistent. Yep. It's going to be 74% um, white corn. So we're taking that corn from up, up in the panhandle of Texas. We use 15% soft red winter wheat that we grow ourselves on property and then 11% malted barley. That's all proofed down to 94 proof. And we use rainwater that we collect and filter Beautiful. at the distillery. Okay. And that's what we have here. It's fantastic. It's a very smooth drink. And I'm, I'm a bourbon fan. So I've, uh, I've, I've, had Garrison Brothers. I have it at my my in my office for my clients, and um, this we is really smooth. Appreciate that. Well, yes. thanks. All right, David. So I have some rapid fire questions for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect. All right. Shaken or stirred? Depends on the drink. <laughs> I like them both. <laughs> neat yeah. or on the rocks? I'm more of an on the rocks guy. Although neat when it's when it's the right uh, blend, it's it's very tasty. I love that. Mixed or straight? Straight. Classic or experimental? I tend to lean towards classic. Yeah. Bar stool or lounge? Ooh, I like them both. Um, it probably also depends on the mood, so can't go wrong with either. Dive bar or speakeasy? Probably more dive bar for me. Um, I but again, if I'm if I feel like I'm it's the right time of night and there's a speakeasy around, they're hard to find sometimes. <laughs> you know, I, I, I definitely like to participate in one of those too. Dressed down or dressed up? Both. Yeah, 50-50. Happy hour or all hours? All hours. Mm -hmm. Friends with the bouncer or friends with the bartender? I would say friends with the bartender. Yeah. And the first bar you'll belly up to when restrictions are over? That'll probably be the poorhouse, actually, um, which is how I even got introduced to Garrison Brothers. The owner, Matthew Rangel, introduced me uh, to Garrison Brothers there, and I also met my wife there. So I probably will go see Matthew at the poorhouse. Well, David, thank you so much for joining me here at the Virgin Hotel and enjoying a nice glass of Garrison Brothers bourbon. So cheers to you, Dallas's modern man. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. <laughs>